What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties? I am totally guilty of changing my mind all the time. This is our little office that we made a few years back in 2021. It's one of our earliest hidden box rooms. It was in this video. I've already changed this wall once and now I've just been taking stuff out of it and it's kind of turned into a little storage area. So today we are going to give it a little makeover. First thing we have to do is clean out this space and remove all the little things that have been collecting in here over the last two years. Everything must go, including our little miniature paper clips and outdated calendars. Let's take out the shelves too. Might have to cut these out, but I really just want a blank canvas to work with. Hopefully we can salvage some of this foam board. I don't know if we will be able to though, because I'm kind of bending it. Ugh. And there's the old wallpaper. People often want to know, why do I remodel my doll rooms rather than just make a new one? Do I not get sad when I'm demolishing a space? Um, no, I don't really get sad because I'm a crafter and I like crafting. Plus, I try to remodel when I can because space is limited. I hope that helps. The room is now completely clear and we do have a little window. I'm gonna keep that. Hopefully we can play with a little light. I want this to be like a little book nook, a little fun display on my bookshelf for my dolls. So it needs to be photo ready when the wall is closed. And if it's going to be on my real life bookshelf, we're gonna need a little scene outside this window so you're not looking at the side of a book. And since we don't have a lot of space in here, I'm thinking we're gonna use a few printables. During the holidays, my family and I went on vacation and I took a picture of this really cute little bookstore. I printed it out because I thought we could possibly use it as a backdrop. Warning, I don't know and haven't read all the titles on those books, so there may or may not be a few surprises. You have been warned. I'm using scraps of cardstock to even out the wall from me, you know, pulling stuff off of it. I zoomed in on the floor and printed it, then glued it into the bottom of the room. I glued the printable to the back wall. I had to use a second piece to patch the top, but we got it done. I zoomed in a little more and made another printable and I'm gonna use it to cover the wall with the window. I use a brick scrapbook paper under the window. I cover the other wall with more brick paper and I put more of the books on the back. So right now, our whole room is covered with printables and scrapbook paper. Because we zoomed in so much, the printable is not as crisp as I would like, but I think it'll still work for this project. And we do have other bookshelf printables available on our blog. Let's add a little more detail. We can cut strips of foam board and cover it with a wood grain paper or use wood. I have these little square wooden dowels and scraps of balsa wood that I cut into strips. Glue them around the printed books right over some of the existing lines so the bookshelves pop out a little. On this wall, let's build some functional shelves. I cut wood to an inch and a half, then use it to frame a bookcase over the brick covered wall. I cut a few shelves. I take one and glue a half inch strip underneath. I made two and glue them between the boards, glue in shelves. I'm making mine to fit our printable books. I add a final board across the top to complete our shelves. And hopefully when the box is closed, it will look like a little narrow aisle in a bookstore with storage for our real dollhouse books. And on this side of the wall, I thought we could add a little more detail. Remember those Dollar Tree book stickers? Let's add a few here and there for a little pop. 
I'm hoping it will add just a little more dimension to this scene. Now, what about that view? I take leftover foam board and cut a few rectangles. I cut one that's the same size as the side of the box. I cut a two inch piece to glue onto the side and a slightly smaller one for the bottom to make a partial box that we can glue onto the side of our box room. Better yet, let's not glue it in place. And let's use some leftover scrapbook paper to finish this wall. I'm using the same brick pattern just because that's what I have. Then I frame the window with more foam board. And of course, this is completely optional. I just like the idea of taking a picture outside the window and looking in. Now let's take the partial box and an LED light from the dollar store. I bought this headlamp for $1.25. It takes three AAA batteries and it is pretty bright. I place it over by the window and figure out what's the best angle for this space. There are three different modes on this light. One is a strobe, you have been warned. I'm gonna use a little blue poster putty to hold it in place so I can adjust as needed and change the batteries. For the scene, let's take a picture out of a calendar. And I'm using poster putty here as well to hold it in place so I can change the scene with the seasons. When the box is behind the window, we have a beautiful scene with a little glow. Now we just have to fill the bookcase with all of our miniature books. We've made quite a few over the years, and this is a great way to store and display them. And they add more detail to this space. I want a little glow coming from behind the bookcase to give the illusion that you can take a turn down another hallway. So let's add a small string of LED lights to give a soft glow. Now we can place it on the shelf next to our craft books and doll books, sketchbooks and clothing binders to have a book nook doll space that is always ready for a quick photo. And it's a fun way to display our dolls. Plus, since it is a hidden doll room, we can always open it up when we need a little more space. Thank you for joining us for this quick little makeover. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time.